We have so many chronic diseases now, such as diabetes, hypertension, strokes, and the only way we're going to really get a handle around healthcare is to deal with these chronic illnesses. And the best way to do that is with prevention. And I have, as Surgeon General, promoted the fact that we need to change our system from one based on sickness and disease to one based on wellness and prevention. So one of the things that makes it very difficult to move into a position of um, wellness and prevention is lifestyle, and lifestyle is hard. They're very difficult, while it sounds simple, and it is simple, it's very hard to do. It's so much easier for us to um, take the easy way out and not to deal with the, the hard things like exercising, eating right, um, making sure we get enough sleep, making sure we decrease the stress in our lives. While those sound very easy, they're very difficult. What we find is that the community has to be a part of it. And as a healthcare organization, we're moving to a value-based system. And with the value-based system, we're going to be reimbursed and paid on our outcomes. And the only way to improve those outcomes is not how many patients you see or how many prescriptions you write, but how well the blood pressures are controlled, how well the blood sugars are under control. And based on those, we need partners. We need to partner with the communities in order to do that. And healthcare organizations have to be a part of their communities. In many communities, the healthcare organizations are the largest employer, they're the largest presence. And so they really can take a leadership in prevention. So as we move to this value-based system, that's the way the healthcare organizations are starting to be reimbursed. And you benefit by having a healthier population. You have healthier outcomes. You be able, you're able to um, get reimbursed much, much better. And it's good for the community. It's the right thing to do.